Alright, hey guys, another video from PC Tech Crew, and today I'll be showing you how to do one, uh, like, play some blocks and stuff down on Mario, uh, the Mario X, um, level editor. And here we are. I don't know why my computer is doing that. There it goes. Alright. I already, in the last tutorial, I've already showed you how, like, what my level is like. Today, I'm just, in this tutorial, I'm just going to be showing you the basics. Alright. Alright. First, we want to go to level settings. Like, to get a background, you want to go into here. Like, to the level settings. All this stuff you need is down here. There's... You can choose from like Super Mario, Super Mar Mario Bros. 2, 3, Super Mario World, RPG, 64, and just miscellaneous stuff. There's all these different backgrounds. Like here, let's do Bowser or Pipes. And no, Dungeon. Dungeon School. Then you can choose the music you want. Let's try Battle. Yeah, let's do that. I'm going to go like this. Um, you can see there's many different sections. Like, I'm like on section 7 or something out of 21. This is what our first level is going to look like. Then you can just X this off. Go to background objects. If you want to place any of this kind of stuff, like you could post. A chain going across the screen if you want. I'll turn that volume down from the one sec. There. All right. Now we will go to blocks and tiles. You can see here's all the stuff. You can like this chain right here won't affect you. It's just a background object, so you can just like make it look like it's holding it. Um, it's right there. Right there. Right there. And you can take the block, the special block, the block you want. Pick whatever one you want. Let's do fire, I guess. Put like three of them, I guess. And then three regular blocks. And you can just customize the level the way you want. Like you can make it a maze if you want. Like, like here, I'll make a quick. Oh, oops. Um, well, yeah, to erase, you have to click on the object you want, and right-click, and it erases it. And you can make it a maze, like a certain thing, if you want. You could have, like, little people walking in between the maze. There. Alright, now we go back to box and tiles, get that back. Keep going, then yeah, you get the picture. Like, so you can you can do a lot of stuff with this. You can like make this like a place to stop, I guess. I don't know. Um, yeah, like and to add characters, I go to non-playable characters and. Go to, you can put a boss, a plant, like, you have to add a floor too, I almost forgot about that. Um, you could add, um, what a plant dude right there, go to blocks and tiles and add a small pipe. Um, yeah, you get the picture. It's, it's cool. It, it takes a little bit of time, but it's all worth it in the end. Like, it's too big, but yeah, you get the point. Alright, see, so yeah, you click, so, just let me add a floor really quick and then we can test the level. There. <clears throat> um, see, 
can go you can either go to test level and there here you just press F5 right here enter and oh, I didn't pick the spawn points yeah yeah you have to do that too um level settings uh, um I guess start start locations Mario here and Luigi here I guess yeah. now we should be able to test the level Why is this not working? There. I have to save it first. That's right. Save. All right. Now, now we will. There. Now I have Mario. Let's get these. It should have been fire, but oh, I have to add a wall too, or else those things will just go away. <coughs> There, but yeah, you get the. Yeah, as you can see, the level is now done, I guess. See? It just takes a little bit of time to get good with it, like, learn different stuff. I will be posting more tutorials on how to do different stuff, like how to make warps and doors to go to different levels. And as I learn, I will teach you. Alright, see ya. Now just like something off. And thank you and bye.